Hi everyone, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I am coming to you with our latest hashtag uh, smash our stash uh, for the month of May. It is hosted by Beth at Bourbon Creek Crafts, and fresh and renewed with Teresa. And it's all about ribbon this month. And that's the theme where, and yeah, I think all of us have a lot of scrap ribbons. And what I do with my scrap ribbons is that I, the ones that I say, okay, you've got to f finish these up. I usually put on this binder ring and hang it beside my desk. So I go to that first. I have to have it in front of me. Otherwise I don't. Um, however, there are certain colors I don't necessarily have either in those scraps or in my regular um, uh, ribbon. So what I have done is um, I'm going to just show you some techniques of how I get different colors um, with one certain ribbon. Um, and you can use this for all white ribbon, but I have a huge roll of this ribbon. My mother bought this thinking it was a different thing. I picked it and she gave it to me. I have a huge amount of it and I love it. It's a good size. Um, granted, I'll need to buy other sizes of other and stuff like that. It's inevitable. But um, I really like this for creating different colors. And how I do that is, and I will show you my projects here in a moment, but how I do that is by, this is by um, what's called tissue bleeding. And this is more of a turquoise. Um, which is really nice. It looks more of a, like almost a, a watercolor look in it because there's some places that are less done than others. There's a spot that did got missed, for instance. Um, and what tissue bleeding is, is that it's this special tissue that you buy. And this is high gloss, but there's, my favorite one is, um, Bear with me here for a moment. It's Spectra, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's Spectra. Um, these, you buy, I buy them on Amazon. Um, and what you do is you can create different colors for ribbon. You can do backgrounds for paper. Um, that's the mo uh, main thing that I do with them. And yeah, it's it's great. I really enjoy it. So, yeah. Anyways, so uh, what I was doing this month is I was making colors that I don't have a, either at all or a lot of. Um, so this one here is made from an alcohol marker. So I have my Ohuhu um, alcohol markers. I just color it like I color a picture with the chisel tip. And you get these. This is another one from the um, from the uh, uh, tissue bleeding. This is one from um, the alcohol markers. So I just did some, just to build up my stash. Um, I did that uh, because yeah, there's there's a lot here, so I'm gonna have that for a while. <laughs> So also, I showed this on an, another collab that I do, one that I'm hosting, and I needed the right pink for this, and I wish I had had it. This still is too dark, um, so I will probably go with something different next time, but you can also use it white and use it as um bag bag ribbons so it's a really good one and then also i created a couple of these these are not my creation 
but they are 3D um, uh, uh, birdhouses. This one opens with a top with a little box inside. Um, but the main thing is that I did use one of my scraps for the ribbon up here. And um, yeah, I thought that came out pretty cute. And uh, I can certainly link that tutorial down below as well. Uh, this is another one I haven't finished yet. These two actually. Um, uh, uh, they were just created a different way. I wanted them solid. I didn't turn them into a box. But this ribbon on here, it's kind of a faux suede ribbon. But I wanted to use up some small scraps that I had of it. And these work great to hang these by. So that is my ribbon ribbon stuff for this month uh, for the collab and again I will link the tutorial for this and also I will link my other video about tissue bleeding um, at that time as well down below okay guys thank you bye bye